Um, yo guys, what is up? It is Master Davers here, and I'm bringing you guys today another top five on Halo 4. We're gonna be covering the top five fan favorite weapons in Halo 4, and it's gonna be quite a crazy one because basically, I mean, I'll explain that in a second. But first of all, in the background here, we have some CTF gameplay on Solace. I use here, um, I'm worried, I play here quite tactically, and I managed to. Um, Get to whip in and destroy my opponents. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Otherwise, uh, let's move on to the list. And uh, so yeah, it's quite an interesting list. Halo 4, honestly, top five fan favorite weapons. Basically, you had the four on the weaponry, the covenant weaponry, and the UNC weaponry. You had quite a lot of weapons in Halo 4, and some of them worked much more differently than others. So um, yeah, it's just quite a lot of weapons to shout out as well. And uh, basically. I, I think that everybody's list of weapons is just gonna be more different than anybody else's because there's a lot of good weapons in Halo 4, like so many great weapons in Halo 4. Halo 4's weapons, in my opinion, after post-patch, were like the most like the best weapon balancing we've seen in Halo yet. And uh, so yeah, as a result, there's been so many good weapons, and you can't say exactly which weapon's better than the other. So I have here, I have here so many honorable mentions. This is probably the video will see you'll see more honorable mentions than any any other video. And uh, but all these with all these guns here deserve a shout out, and they are great guns as well. But they didn't quite make a list because of a few reasons. So anyway, so honorable mentions. Let's start. We have the Covenant Beam Rifle, AK. The snapshot, the snapshot monster, and we had the UNSC sniper rifle can be very danger, deadly if used by professional snipers. Unlike me, I'm not a professional UNSC sniper at all. I'm improving, but I'm by no means a professional sniper. And then we also had the binary rifle, personally my favorite sniper. I'll admit why it's because of a one-shot kill. I mean, it's a beast gun. And I like I love laser, which is coming out of it when you zoom in. It's uh, so it doesn't make it too OP. People can at least uh, watch out or um, jump out of the way when they see a <laughs> when they see a laser pointed at them. So yeah, it's a great gun. I love it so much. And then you'll have the UNC shotgun, very powerful. I think it lacks a little bit of range. I'm not sure, but it's a uh, you can easily get one shot kill in close range. You also have the scatter shot, which can it shots can bounce off walls and corners, which is uh, quite a quite unique feature of the weapon and has a little bit more range than the UNC shotgun, but it's not quite as powerful as it in my opinion. But uh, anyway, so um, then we also have the Covenant Carbine. Now let's talk about this one a little bit. The Covenant Carbine is definitely, definitely an underrated weapon by the community. Post patch, not many people try it out. It's a beast weapon. It's absolutely monstrous. It's not quite in the list because it's not a fan favorite weapon, but it's a, it's definitely a monster. And I use the carbine all the time on the maps, complex and exile because I believe the carbine plays pretty well on those two maps, in my opinion. And so yeah, I think carbine is definitely a monster. It's quite underrated gun, but it is very powerful post patch. Then also you have the light rifle. I mean, we can all agree that the light rifle is not a very good gun in small maps at all. It's not effective at close range, but in medium range and long range can be very effective if you use it for long range. At long range, is a monster. It's the best gun long range by far, at least over primary weapons. If you zoom in, you can get a four-shot kill, and it has a high rate of fire. So very effective at long range. I use it at I use it at the um, largest maps such as Longbow, Meltdown, and stuff like that. So then, now we finally move on to the top five. So the top five here is basically I mean you just see there in the gameplay some uh, guy managed to jump off a um, jump off a map of this like must say round of applause to that guy quickly shout out to him best teammate in the world so anyway um so yeah let's move on to the top five now so there's quite a few oh yeah I forgot one more shout out we have a few rod can definitely a beast gun I always charge for it in solace and it's a rare gun to get in other maps only appears in solace at the start definitely a but not many people charge for it for some reason but it's more valuable than the sniper rifle by far in a map in my opinion I always if 
if I get a few rods, it always results in me in having um, lot of huge streaks. More than the person with a sniper rifle has. But anyway, so, let's move on to the top five. At number five, we have the, the saw. No, actually, we have the incineration cannon. Um, the incineration cannon is by far the most powerful weapon in the game, but it does not mean it's the most fan favorite weapon. I mean, basically, it's not quite a fan favorite because you, it's a rare weapon. You don't quite get, you don't quite see it often falling from the sky on maps, so you can't quite get it and use it for your advantage. But when you do, you can easily get some heavy multi kills. It's a one shot kill on a warfog and other vehicles that you know, of its size. Very powerful and has a huge splash damage. Huge. It has the most splash damage of any other weapon. So. And plus, it always gives you satisfaction as you see your opponents disintegrates in tiny, par in tiny particles. So then at number 4 we have the saw. The saw is the first light machine gun in Halo. Everybody loves the gun. As soon as you see it on your ordnance, you're most likely to get it. The saw is a very powerful weapon and it's very fun to use as it's the first LMG we've seen in Halo. And um... Yeah, it's a great gun. Has it's very powerful post patch. Some may, some people may even consider it being overpowered. Has quite a strong range and it's overall just a killer. So then at number four we have, I mean not number four. Sorry, I might be a little drunk. At number three we have the railgun. Railgun is making, like we saw, it's making its first appearance in Halo. And um, yeah, it's a UNC weapon. It's a very unique UNC weapon. It's not like sort of like a bullet, bullet sort of weapon. It actually contains energy projectiles. So um, yeah, it's a very unique weapon. So like the advanced warfare uh, weapon that you could see. So um, shout out to advanced warfare. By the way, um, the railgun is a very fun weapon to use. I personally love it. If you watch my doubles gameplay on uh, with Lando, I always go for a railgun in those matches. Get it and I can do extremely well of it. Especially, um, basically you see most of, like I think every single one of our matches on Team Doubles was on Haven and I always shot the um, railgun. Get it, do some heavy damage of it. Freaking love the weapon. I love, I love that sort of weapon where you have to where you have to hold the weapon for a certain amount of time, then with your instincts you have to let it go and you have to be aiming exactly at the enemy and it fires. I think it flies as um, not quite as fast as light but you know half as fast as light and it can kill your opponents instantly as soon as you fire. Very very good weapon and it also can be used effectively in flipping over mongooses and warfox. So anyway at number two, then we have uh, DMR, which is a very popular primary weapon. Was the most popular, the most popular weapon before the main patch of weapon balancing. But then post patch, it is still very popular. It's a very deadly weapon in BTB maps. Can easily destroy battle rifle users in long range combat. And uh, yeah, I personally use the DMR a lot in my BTB matches, and it's a great weapon overall. Um, personally love the DMR and region field combo, it's great, and, uh, yeah, DMR, DMR is a little bit, uh, underestimated at this point, um, post-patch, but it's still a freaking deadly weapon. And then number one, sort of gave it away there at number two, but it is the battle rifle. Battle rifle was kind of shite, <laughs> uh, before patch, so... Not many people liked it, many people went to the DMR even even in those small maps and well, still did better than the battle rifle. Me personally, I used the battle rifle it's a little bit more than the DMR and I mean I used them both the same as much basically. But I'm I was always this battle rifle fan. I loved the way the battle rifle looked in Halo 4, that's mainly why I used it. It was like a beast gun, I was very hyped to use it. And uh battle rifle, post patch, four shot kill, brilliant brilliant weapon. And it was played very similar to the Halo 3, only with better hit detection and without the problem of a netcode. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, so a lot of the majority of players that are good at Halo 4 use the battle rifle. Um, 
So yeah, very popular weapon, and it's a popular weapon in competitive play. Been around since Halo 2. Legendary weapon. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the top 5. We shall be returning on Friday with a, um, with a top 5 Halo 3 video, so stay tuned, and I shall see you... I shall see you tomorrow, and we got school tomorrow, so damn it. Uh, so yeah, peace out, guys. Score. Game over. Victory.